Okay, traders, Patrick Head Trader, Trading123.net. Day trading software for the day trader. Today's video, we're going to cover how to scan for stocks on five day breakouts. Powerful plays for powerful profits. Now, what you want to do each evening is look at the stocks you trade and stocks that you have on your watch list and bring up a five day, 15 minute chart and mark the highs of the week on the chart with a horizontal line and then put that stock on a watch list for the week now here's a stock I recently traded in Yelp Y-E-L-P basically had a big day here rally off the bottom and then it consolidated for three days usually the stocks that go into a two or three day consolidation period before they make their next move up or down. So we're looking for Yelp to break out above 23. Going into the week's trading. And usually that breakout will happen on a Wednesday or a Thursday going towards the end of the week. They run the stock sideways first couple days of the week. And Wednesdays and Thursdays when you get your big breakouts when the market is humming like it was today here on September 6, 2012 market rally to new highs so in your trading software you could also set an alert for the weekly high here and it'll trigger in your platform and let you know that the alert is in play and the stock has made a new high and then you gotta take a course of action so let's switch over to a five minute chart here on Yelp so we're using our trading one two three power trend indicator here on the e signal charts and also our pivots and this was the weekly high that we marked on the chart here on Yelp so basically the stock is in a long coiled spring here the longer the coiled spring the powerful the move so it gets this initial move up on above average volume here it makes new highs and any time a stock makes new highs, you have a 70% chance that it's going to trade higher. And that's exactly what it does. Yelp breaks out here above this 2270 area. Goes through the weekly high. Pulls back. That then acts as support. And off it goes to 24 quarter by the end of the day. So that's how you play the big breakouts on the weekly five day chart now the next day you put the stock on a watch list to see if it continues now one thing you should note when you're trading stocks the 0 .50 area is a resistance area and so is the whole number 23 so it breaks out if you would have went long here 2250 your target would be 23 it pulls out pulls back right to support then holds 23 and breaks out in the afternoon up into 2350 where it stalls up into 24 above that and you pretty much made your day's money and you see the volume is above average so the next day if it breaks this 2450 area the high of the day you're immediately long and you're gonna ride it up to the next resistance level so Yelp opens up and boom takes off just like that so you have to have no hesitation in getting long it's above the prior days high the volume is strong long above this 2450 it hits 25 and all the way up to 26 no stopping makes a shooting star candle and pulls back so that play alone you could have made a buck 50 on it three to five hundred shares you would have made your daily profit and no need to over trade these are breakout plays you play them for the breakout and then move on to something else and then as you see it pretty much just went sideways so you caught the major move of the next day now even if you didn't catch this move the previous day you bring up the stock in your watch list like I have here by percentage change in volume and these stocks at the top of the list here the first five to ten is what I have an eye on for longs and the ones at the bottom 
in the red zone or short. So you monitor these each and every day and you get breakout plays like you see here on Yelp. So the next day, the stock's been on a tear for a couple days, and it's what I call the three-day three day rule. So pretty much this stock has went from 22 to 26 almost and is in need of a pullback. So the next day it opens up and it rips right above 26 here to new highs and then pulls back and this is the previous day's high right here 26.38 a loss of that we're gonna see a move down to 26 maybe 25 50 and 25 and that's exactly what happened three-day rule it ripped and then it ripped at the open here profit taking come in all sellers bailed on the stock within the first half hour and you get a big dump down here to 25.50 the 50 number finds support and then it can't get through this blue line resistance and then down it goes to the next support which is usually 25 and 2450 where it reverses and see how the point 50 number holds up as support we'll do another video on that later on you could have took a scalp here and made 20 to 30 cents on the scalp so that's Playing the five-day breakout. And the key to trading is you're going to do your homework in the evening. Look at stocks. Pull them up on the 15-minute chart. See the highs and lows for the week. And make a plan for the following day. Good luck with your trading. Hope you enjoyed the video.